When it comes to shooting macro, professional photographers have a big enemy to deal with, and it is called depth of field. Creating frames that keep smaller subjects such as flowers or insects completely in focus can be an absolute minefield, as when shooting single frames, you will have a very narrow zone of focus to play with. The solution, of course, is to utilize the focus stacking feature in your camera, which will shoot multiple frames, varying the point of focus so that more of the frame is covered in focus. However, pressing the shutter is only half the job. What should you do next with the multiple images captured by the camera? This is where Affinity Photo 2 comes in. The clever software boasts a focus merge feature that makes completing your focus stack files child's play. What's more, the features available in Affinity Photo 2 offer you, the professional photographer, a high degree of precision to take control and manually fine tune the final frame. The best news is, is that this technique can be done in under five minutes, so let's get started. Now, getting your workflow right will make this technique far simpler, so before we progress to Affinity Photo 2, the first task is to create a folder and place all the images you intend to merge together. This will make them not only easier to find, but will ensure you don't include any rogue images into your focus merge. So as you can see, my folder here is named Flower Images, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 images to merge together. So we're going to select these images and make sure Affinity Photo 2 is open in the Photo Persona. If not, just head up to the top left of the interface and you'll be able to click on the Photo Persona icon. Our first job is to head up to the File menu and scroll down and select New Focus Merge. A dialog box will appear and we've got some options here, remove, add and cancel. And the one we want is add, so let's click on this. Navigate on your desktop and find your flower images or whatever images you want to merge together. Click and select them all. And then click on open. You'll see the images have been lined up and are ready to be merged together. So when you're ready, progress and click OK. Now Affinity Photo 2 will do its magic and start merging these photos together. Obviously it will depend on how big your images are and how many images you're merging together for the software to churn away and do its magic. So once the files have been merged together, you'll see a sources panel has been created. And at the top of it, you've got your focused merged image, which is effectively the final layer. And below this are all the other layers and we can go through and examine each particular image. And because they'll be captured at different zones of focus, different elements of the frame will be in focus. So for example, we've got this bottom flower, which is obviously closer to the camera, so that's in focus here, but the top flower, which is furthest away, is out of focus. Let's jump back to our final image, which is the focus merged layer, and you'll see this flower here looks a bit odd and is slightly out of focus, but don't worry, we can fix this. Head over to the toolbar and make sure the clone brush tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is K, is selected. We're going to go down our layer of images and find one where this flower is actually in focus, and I've found it here. So what we need to do is click the toggle icon and use the clone tool to draw around the area of pixels you want to clone onto your top layer. So we're taking the pixels from the sharp area of the frame and depositing them back on the focused merge layer. So this area that once was soft and out of focus is now sharp again. Now one tip I would offer up when cloning pixels in is to use a soft brush. So if you head to the top of the interface and we look at the hardness, I've set it to 0%. This will make the edges nice and soft and you'll get away from having those hard edges which give away to the viewer that you've been cloning pixels in. Now, what if you want to make any further adjustments? Well, you can do that when you're making a focus merged image. All you have to do is head back to the layers panel, find the adjustments icon, which is identified by a half black, half white circle, click on it, 
and you've got lots of different options. And I think I'll select a quick curves adjustment. You'll see it's been added to the layers panel. I'll draw out a quick S shape just to add some impact and punch to the frame. And then I'll think I'll add one more. So I'll go back to the adjustments icon, this time selecting HSL. And I'll just drag the saturation slider to the right just to pep up the color. And that's as simple as focus merging it can be. So you start with eight different files, merge them into one, clone out any imperfections, and then add further adjustments. All you need to do now is head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. Have fun merging your photos in Affinity Photo 2, and I'll see you next time.